Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? This comes from Brian Meadows. In the words of CJ from Grand Theft Auto, oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> the Hollywood Reporter that uh, that another actor, Bill Skarsgård, and another director, Rupert Sanders, have been attached to the reboot of The Crow. I still don't think this is happening. What about you guys? Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right. So we have for a long time, a long time, have been hearing that they were going to do another Crow movie. I mean, I think ever since my AMC days, they've been talking about doing another Crow movie. All the way back then, we were talking about this director's attached and this writer's attached and this actor's attached, and then nothing happens. And then this writer and this director and this whatever, and then nothing happens. And it's been feeling that way for a long time. Now, brand new report coming out that a guy who's getting pretty hot and whose family has been pretty hot in the industry for a very long time, Bill Skarsgård, is apparently attached now to star in The Crow with Rupert Sanders directing. Uh, this comes just from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter write the following. After years of false starts and many rings of development hell, The Crow appears ready to fly again. So they say, Bill Skarsgård, who played Pennywise the Clown in the It horror movies, will star in the reboot of the supernatural revenge thriller that will be directed by Rupert Saunders, best known for helming Snow White and the Huntsman and Ghosts in the Shell. Not ringing credits, Ooh. but yeah. Uh, longtime Crow steward Edward R. Pressman and Malcolm Gray, a co-producer on the 2019 Chadwick Boseman thriller 21 Bridges, are producing. That comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. All right. Do you believe it or do you not? That's going to be the question. Are they actually doing it now? They're saying this thing is supposed to get in front of cameras like in a couple of months. <laughs> that's what they're saying. They're saying that yeah. this isn't something that's going to go into production in 2023. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> they're saying like this summer, they're going to get in front of cameras this summer. We are too, John. <laughs> Aren't we making a Crow reboot, too? That's yeah. right. We are yeah. also making a Crow reboot. That's right. With Chris Rock playing the Crow. I mean, oh, okay. Or Chris Carr. Or Chris oh, Carr. the Carr. A little crow? bit of a twist. Aww. Chris Carr, furious after oh, man. gangsters murdered Logan. Now oh she's gosh. out for revenge. Yeah. Oh, I want it to be the literal Crow that, like, resurrects them. That, I, 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 she's going to be the bird itself. I just want to be the bird. In this movie. So uh, apparently they're going to move forward. Now, uh, uh, Snow White and the Huntsman was not the greatest film in the world. I actually didn't mind the first Snow White and the Huntsman. I thought it was I actually fine. didn't mind the second one. Uh, not so great. Um, Ghost in the Shell. Again, I didn't think that was a total train wreck of a what movie. a warm fart of a movie. A warm fart of a movie. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> i see i didn't hate it but i didn't like it either yeah. I, I i didn't like it either it had, it had some pros going for it whatever but now they're doing this but again this is not the first time they've tried to get the crow going and bill skarsgård is not the first guy they've had in there doing it we've had some others we're gonna start with just recently jason momoa was all set to be the crow they were all set, ready to start shooting. They had another director on board. They were literally weeks away from getting that going. That didn't happen. Before Jason Momoa, Tom Hiddleston was attached was to he? start. Yep. He was oh, attached wow. to star as it at one point. And so we were going to see Loki as that. That didn't happen. At one point, we had Boardwalk Empire star Jack Houston. I actually really right, liked Jack that's Houston. That's the one I remember. Jack Houston was attached to play uh, the role of that as well. Also attached for quite a while was Luke Evans. That's, that's. Oh, I love him. Luke Evans. I mean, uh, there we go. That's Luke Evans. Luke Evans was attached to star, star as it. Of course, he's one of the villains in one of the Fast and the Furious movies. He's Gaston in the live action Beauty of the Beast. I personally love Luke Evans. I think he's great. He's wonderful. I thought he would have made a great crow. I really do. Before that, Bradley Cooper. At one point, oh my what? he was For Bradley what? Cooper was at one point, this is going back years, but he was attached to being as well. And also at one point, Norman Reedus from Walking Dead. Boy, I can see that. Boondock Saints. It's like the Sinister Six right here. Was supposed to be, <laughs> uh, be it as well. And now 
adding his name to that prestigious <laughs> yeah. list. Yeah, the Hall of Fame. Bill Skarsgård, yeah, he's the one who's going to take it across the finish line. <laughs> and he's going to bring this one home. Way to go, Billy. Uh, look, I'll, I'll say this. Let's assume for a second that this is actually going to happen. All right. Oh, that this is real? That this is real. <laughs> okay. I mean, listen, they've had storyboards in a script for a long time. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever. They say they're going to start shooting it. So let's, for the moment, just for the sake of argument, make the assumption that it's going to happen. Okay. Not super excited about the director choice, but, I mean, not completely turned off by it either. So that, that's fine. Bill Skarsgård, he could be... Pre, what's the name of the, the D Davin, Draven, Durvin? What's the name of the character again? The main uh, character in Crow? Eric, Eric uh, Draven? Yeah, or I think like something like that. Yeah. He could be very good in this role. I have actually really started to like Bill Skarsgård. I, I love his portrayal as Pennywise in the It films, but I've seen him in a few other things too, and I, I'm actually really starting to like him a lot. Listen, that whole family is freaking ridiculously talented. Yeah. Like the offspring of Stellan is ludicrous like stellan and his offspring just completely ludicrous the scars guard family but i'll yeah i'll just say this that i'm down for this i'm all for it if this actually starts happening and i will also say this i just want this movie in our rearview mirror like th this has been a movie that's been talked about for ages and ages and ages and ages with seven different actors attached to it with four different directors attached to it all this kind of stuff I'm just ready for this movie to just get done and be in the history books at this yeah. point. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not looking forward to watching that it can't be good. Of course it can be. But with all of the drama that's gone on with this movie, it'll be good just to have it out there and done. So I don't know. Chris, you see this. Number one, let's ask, do you believe it's actually going to happen? And then assuming it's going to happen, what would you think about the addition of Bill Skarsgård? I mean... I don't think the movie's actually going to happen, but really? <laughs> I, but talking about it though, when this being in kind of pre-production hell was an inevitability, right? Because we're in this comic book boom and you're gonna go back to some IP that has had success, I think. And this James O'Barr comic from the 80s, you know, little tiny indie thing had legs and they did some stuff with it. I don't know for why we need another Crow movie. There's already so many. Um, <laughs> I just don't I just don't see it coming together. And and supposedly we've got some other casting news too. Um FKA Twigs, the singer-songwriter is supposedly cast according to the Hollywood Reporter um as the fiance in this and they're expanding that role into more of a co-lead as opposed to just, you know, part of the casualty that leads to Eric being resurrected and everything and fighting for her vengeance and all of that. Could be interesting. Is it something I'm particularly interested in? Nah. He kind of looks crowish in that uh, that picture you just. He looks up. a little crowy. Yeah, right? he looks a little crowy no, right I, there. I, I, there, there's a missed opportunity here. There's a totally missed opportunity. Sting. Sting. <laughs> I knew. I it. mean, what, I mean, everybody. <laughs> Sting was clearly the guy to get to be the crow. Well, we you have to inform fans who don't watch wrestling. Sting is a re wrestling guy who uses the crow mask. I don't know. He's been around for ages. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find an image for those yeah. of you who don't know anything about you know, you know how you get this movie to come out already is if you give it a Netflix, it'll be out in a week. So <laughs> just give it a Netflix, a week. it'll be fine. I, I just don't you know, if they release this movie, I actually just see it actually it going on streaming and not really like a like it. I can't see I can't I can't see this being a theatrical. Yep. Are, by the way, for those of you who are looking for it. There, there's Stinger. Sting. There's Stinger right there. How He's, small does that bat look? Yeah, it looks pretty small. That bat look. Yeah, he needs something a little more, uh, a little more threatening, I think, in that hand. But uh, I mean, I think you're right. I, I think this, this feels like something that's just destined to be a streamer at this point. Do we know what studio's picking it up? Is it Paramount or? I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised at all. If I, I mean, I honestly didn't look into it. I, it, it could very well be a crackle. For all that, is Crackle still a thing? I don't be, know. It'll be on uh, Pluto could, coming to you. Be, it's on Pluto, Pluto exclusive, baby. Yeah. By the way, I like Pluto TV. That One of my first gigs when I moved to L.A. was doing the the pitch of Pluto TV. I was the girl who was like, hey, if you press this button here, you can share this was video. Was that you? Yeah. I like Pluto. I, I'm telling you, Pluto, <laughs> as soon as I'm ready to go to bed, I just turn it to that Unsolved Mysteries channel, uh. and then I have nightmares. But I, <laughs> but at least I sleep. <laughs> I, I watch um, 
What do I, I watch a lot of the, they have a WPT, they have a World Poker Tour oh, channel yeah, on do. that. So I watch that a lot oh, too. Nice. Anyway, guys, question is for you. <laughs> what do you think about this? They're saying Bill Skarsgård is going to be the Crow in the Crow reboot. And they say, no, really, for honest pinky swear, we're doing it this time. Uh, do you believe them? Do you think it's actually going to happen? Whatever you guys' thoughts are, jump on down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Guys, we want to take a minute and thank a sponsor of today's video, Viore. Now, you know, Ann and I like to work out and train several days a week, but the thing is I want to be comfortable and not look like a slob at the same time. And I often have a hard time finding something that does both, but Viore, everything is designed to work out in, but it doesn't look or feel like it's made to be worked out in. It is so comfortable. You will want to wear this stuff all the time. Now you guys know I like some flexibility and versatility in the clothes that I wear, but that's where Viore comes in. See, it can be used for just about any activity like running, training, swimming, yoga, but it's also great just for lounging around or going out on the weekends in. For example, take the men's core shorts. These are the most comfortable and one of the best looking pairs of shorts that you can own and they're versatile. One pair of shorts for just about every sport that you can play. Or take the men's Sunday performance jogger. These pants are perfect for lounging around in or going out for a good run. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our viewers, they are offering 20% off your very first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash campia. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash campia not only will you receive 20 percent off your first purchase but enjoy free shipping on any u.s orders over 75 dollars and free returns go to viore.com slash campia and discover the versatility of viore clothing